Car buying is in high gear for the first time since the recession, and dealerships are putting out every gotcha they can to squeeze us. So here with how you, you can avoid those gotchas, Lauren Fix, the car coach. Lauren, welcome back. Always good to see you. Thank you for coming on. Even Thank though you're you, not Jerry. here, you're in Buffalo. You. So let's start with financing. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm going to be doing this soon myself. I, I got to buy a car. Mm -hmm. So is it best to take the deal the dealership gives you, or should you get financing elsewhere? Well, I just bought a car myself. I did the same thing. I do the same thing everyone else does. I went to a credit union and I checked with the bank who had my mortgage for my home. And believe it or not, their rates were really good. But if you're going to lease, you have to go through a dealership unless you've got some access to a leasing company. The fact was the credit union had a great rate. So make sure to check with that, especially if you're a member of like a military credit union, they also offer discounted rates. I love that. Yeah, you got to look around, search yeah. around, make sure you get the mm -hmm. best deal. So yes. uh, you say, look at independent websites to find all the incentives and discounts available. Isn't the guy selling me the car going to tell me what the incentives and discounts are? Well, sometimes, the, you know, they come up all the time. Like, you might see something that shows up today that wasn't there before because they're noticing a vehicle wasn't selling at the rate they would like. So that's when you can use the, your advantage websites like TrueCar.com, there's Edmunds, there's Auto Trader, there's a ton of sites out right. there, USAA. But also go to the manufacturer's website. So if you're looking at buying a Honda, go to Honda USA. If you're looking at buying a BMW, the same thing, Audi, whatever it might be, don't think, that, oh, you know, it's a high-end car or it's a Kia and, and they sell lots of them. Everybody's offering a discount. Everyone wants to get rid of those 2013. So use that incentive to your advantage, whether it's the money or the, the discounted interest rates. You'll usually find the discounted interest rates to your advantage. Well, Lauren, settle a, a debate inside the Willis report, which is this. Okay. So these okay. days, I feel like the start of the school year used to be the start of the auto year, but that may not be true anymore. When do you say that the old year is over and the new year is beginning in that industry? Yeah, it used to be a line in the sand. You would yeah. see cars stop producing in June. There was a downtime. They retooled the 2014, so the next year would come in at September. But there's now like this whole shift. Like I'll see cars coming out 2014s. We'll test drive as journalists in January, February, March. I'm test driving 2014s huh. now that are just hitting show floors. So we're already getting the taste of what's out there plus what's coming in for the following year. So there really, is, there really isn't an exact line in the sand anymore. So what you are seeing though is 2013 sitting on lots. That's where the deals are. 2014s are coming in on tractor trailers and they huh. need those parking spots. So Unless Go you, for the 2013. I don't ever recommend. Yeah, don't pay retail. That's my. I don't care if it's a 2014. I will not pay retail. There's always a discount somewhere if they want your business. Okay, but you know you're talking about discounts here, but I'm thinking maybe I want the extended warranty. Maybe there's some kind of extras I should be buying. What do you mm. recommend? Uh, first off, be very aware of those little warranties, extended warranties, tire for life, rust proofing, all those goodies that all these companies make extra money on. You have to be very careful because much of that is already included. I do not recommend an extended warranty, especially if it's outside a factory warranty. If you're going to drive right. what it says on the lease that 15,000 miles and at the end of the lease you're going to get rid of it, okay, what comes with the car is fine. Although I have friends that drive 100,000 miles a year and when you're driving a vehicle that could be a high maintenance, such as a luxury vehicle, you may consider it, but it better be from the factory. Don't buy it from an outside company because that's where the gotcha will get you in the end. Okay, and I have to ask you this one. So do you trade in the old car at the dealer or somewhere else? What's the best way to handle that? Okay, that's a really good question. I try to make them as separate transactions. Get the price on huh. the car, negotiate that, then ask for your discounts because the discounts come from the manufacturer, not from the dealer. And on the other side, when you're looking at selling the used car, there's a tax credit for trading that car in toward it. So find out what the car is worth on your own. Kelly Blue Book, which is kbb.com, will show you the values. Also, all the other websites we talked about. Get that information. Then what you can do is say, all right, now I've got these two separate transactions. If I trade this car in, I will get this tax credit. Or if your state doesn't allow for that, some don't, then sell the vehicle separately, but it better be at a really good rate. So the car better be clean, you better have maintained it, and you better have maintenance records to get the most out of tax it. Tax credit? Are we, is that where we're trying to get old cars off the road? I mean, how much money could I get? 
No, no, no. Well, let's say you're, just for argument's sake, let's say you're, you're buying a $20,000 car and your old vehicle is worth $10,000, you'll get a $10,000 tax credit, which means when you go to buy the car, you're only going to pay sales tax on that $10,000. Okay. If you bought the, a $20,000 car, you're going to pay sales tax on the whole $20,000. You really have to look at the numbers. Some states don't have that. So you have to know your state's tax laws. That's the only way you're going to get a discount. Many times it's best to sell it online, places like eBay. I sell vehicles on eBay Motors all the time. Wow, so many options out there, Lauren. Thanks for coming yes, on. Yes, there it's is. It's always great to have Thank you. you here. You're keeping us from the gotchas. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yes, exactly. Thank you.